Hey everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian, and I create video content to help people who are starting off in the print-on-demand business, providing tips, tricks, and motivation to help you succeed in your own print-on-demand business. In today's episode, I am going to be showing you how I recently helped a follower on my Instagram page who had participated in my second long-term phrase keyword competition, and today I'm going to show you how I helped him take one of his designs all the way down from the bottom of Redbubble search straight up to the top on a number of long tail keyword phrases. So if this is something that interests you and you want to learn how to go about doing that to provide your designs with a greater fighting chance of being seen and hopefully making a sale on Redbubble, then this is the episode that you definitely want to watch. Stay tuned. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested in all things pertaining to print on demand, then I want to invite you to click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video and give this video a like too. I'd love to have you in my community. We're here to grow together and succeed together. And without further ado, let's jump onto my computer and get on with today's video. Okay everybody, so here we are on the Redbubble page of the design that the shop owner sent to me asking for help with respect to long-term keyword phrases. And as you can see here, the design is Nacho Average Big Bro, so it's a, a bit of a, a word pun, uh, quite a comical one. And uh, we've got title Nacho Average Big Bro Essential and T-shirt, obviously Essential T-shirt is what Redbubble puts in after your title. Okay, what I typically do when coming up with long-term keyword phrases is that I first and foremost keep in my mind that I want to look for at least 14 to 17 relevant keywords. Keywords, in this case, keyword phrases that are going to help me get my design as high up on Redbubble search as I possibly can. And I'm always looking for results where the number of designs present is less than a thousand for that particular keyword phrase. If it's more than a thousand, I'm a little bit dubious. If it's extremely more than a thousand, I don't even bother considering it because the chances of me having my design found is going to be very, very poor at best. And I want to give my designs a fighting chance of being seen so that obviously they'll make a sale. So what I normally do is I open up a Excel sheet an Excel sheet and I obviously start putting in my information and doing my research that will help me whittle up my way down to the 14 to 17 relevant keyword phrases. So what I did, let's just take a quick look at this page here for this particular design. We've got a title, Nacho Average Big Bro Cinco de Mayo May 4th. Okay, so there are a couple keywords over there, but I think we can do better and I'll show you a little later on in this, uh, in this episode how we went about improving this particular uh, title to make it more keyword rich, okay? And looking down at the tags here, okay, we've got a bunch of tags over here, a couple long-term phrases and a bunch of generic single keywords. Okay, so what I did was I opened up an Excel sheet and I began copying all of these tags onto the Excel sheet to be able to help me uh, refine uh, and obviously focus my research. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we've got the title, we've got the description, and the total number of keywords that this particular seller created for this design was 24. Now what I did was I went through each and every single keyword that this person used and I listed the number of results Redbubble brought back for each of these keywords. Okay, and as you can see here, we've got quite a varied number of results. Obviously, one being the very highest with 4,554,480 designs at the time of publishing this particular episode. To make it a little bit easier to read, what I then did was I sorted out all of these results, okay, from highest to lowest just to see what I'm playing with, okay? So I'm doing my keyword analysis and basically we see that from funny all the way down to nacho average, so all of these keywords over here, they're highlighted in red. Why? Because the number of results exceeds 1,000. Okay. And again, if I had to use these keywords for this design, the chances of being found is going to be very bleak at best. Then what I did was, with these two particular keyword phrases here, I did them in amber. Okay. Now, it's true, they have over 1,000 results, so we got 1,999. And again, this 1,000 result is not 
there are exceptions to the rule. It's not absolute. But what I did was when I looked at this keyword, I found that the design actually did appear very, very high in Redbubble search. Okay, probably Redbubble saw this as being a very relevant keyword for this phrase and ranked it higher, which is great. So in this particular case, I would keep one of the two. Why? Because they're effectively the same keywords, all right? Funny Big Bro and Big Bro Funny are the same. To Redbubble, it's not going to matter whether you have the word funny at the beginning or at the end. It's still going to come back with the same number of results. Okay. So we could consider keeping one of these particular keywords. Then, out of all 24 results, we can see here that we have one, two, three, four, five that are under a thousand. And as a result, I highlighted them in green because when I went to research these keywords, the design appeared on page one, all right? Now, of the five, you can see here, one of them, Gar5, which happens to be the name of the shop, is obviously going to rank very, very high because nobody is really gonna use the name of somebody else's shop as one of their keywords. But, for those of you who have been following my episodes on YouTube, and for those of you who are new, do consider using one of your keywords, even if it's the 18th one, with the name of your shop, okay? When you use the name of your shop as one of your keywords, it makes it a lot easier for people to find you in search. Let's say, for example, they knew of a design that they saw of yours, but they can't remember the title that you had given for it. And to try finding it based on a number of other keywords probably would bring back results which are very excessive. But if you use your shop name as one of the keywords, and they remember the name of your shop and they type that in, well, the chances are very, very good that they're gonna find your shop and not only are they gonna find that particular design that they were looking for, but they're gonna see all of the designs to which you use your shop's name as one of the keywords. So it's a nice way of gaining exposure for your shop. So highly, definitely recommend that you use your shop name as a particular keyword. So now that I saw what kind of results all of these keywords were getting, and I clearly know which ones I would definitely not use for this particular design, it's time to start doing some research, okay? So what I did was I went into two different websites, one being Wikipedia and the other one being Shutterstock. And if we take a look here, so we got Wikipedia. And I just basically typed nachos as my keyword on Wikipedia and just basically read through briefly what the origination of nachos was all about. Why would I do this? Because sometimes in doing this exercise, you might find keywords that you probably would not have thought of, all right? And in taking a few moments to just scour through this particular article, all right, you've got these blue clickable links. More often than not, those are important keywords for Wikipedia, for this particular article. So you'd wanna take note of some keywords that could be pertinent to help you with respect to your keyword research. Now, you don't need to use all of them, clearly, but you just wanna get a feel for what kind of keywords they were using to help you refine your search and come up with more effective, long-term keyword phrases to help your design be found better on Redbubble Search. And another website that I really enjoy using is Shutterstock, okay? Now, Shutterstock is a stock photography website. Um, it's a wonderful website. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just use them um, to obtain my keyword ideas too as well. And again, all I did was I typed in nachos in the search field. Obviously, Shutterstock came back with a number of photos. And then it's just simply a question of opening a particular photo in a new link and seeing what kind of related keywords are being proposed for this particular design on Shutterstock. Again, they are just single word keywords and that's absolutely fine, but you might find one, two or more that you could actually consider phrasing together to make sense to use on Redbubble, okay? So it's just another way of researching to find effective, relevant keywords, particularly if you draw a blank when you're trying to come up with your own keywords, okay? So Wikipedia, Shutterstock, you can use whatever website you like. I just typically like using these two. Whatever website that you use that can help you come up with relevant keywords, all the power to you, use it. Hopefully it will help you as well. So now if we go back to my Excel sheet and I click on another tab here, which I created called Keyword Research. What I did was 
I created four headings about the food and culture, about the style of the design, any emotional resonance that I got from looking at the design, and then just another one called Other. Okay, now under about the food and culture, as you can see here, I came up with a number of designs over here nacho, tortilla chips, totopos. Okay, totopos in Mexican cuisine is a flat, round, or triangular corn product similar to a tortilla that has been toasted, fried, or baked, which effectively is very similar to a nacho, so it might be a keyword that had, might have potential. Okay, I also came up with other keywords like cheese and jalapenos, which complement nachos. Now, again, Remember, you don't need to use all of these keywords. It's, you're just brainstorming keywords at this moment to try and see what would effectively resonate with you to come up with those keyword phrases to use for your design. Okay, well, we know nachos are made from corn. Nachos are a type of snack. For some, it's an appetizer. Um, Texans or the state of Texas, you know, nachos are really popular over there. Clearly, they're very popular in, in Mexico, so it's a Mexican uh, type of food. Uh, obviously, in the design, we had a Mexican sombrero, and nachos typically are triangular in shape, so nacho triangle, okay? About the style, we have a clip art, there's a quote, um, obviously design that's very generic, but you might want to put that together with some others to come up with that long-term keyword phrase, and obviously, there's an illustration in the form of the sombrero. Now, in terms of the emotional resonance, when I looked at it, um, it gave me a fun vibe, a festive vibe, okay? Admire, love, respect, family, all pertain to the quote about an amazing big brother, okay? And obviously the design is funny to look at, okay? Not in a negative way, but it's funny to look at and it's quite pleasing to the eyes, so well done for that. Now in terms of other, all right, we have big brother, sibling, teenage, boy, brother on its own, Cinco de Mayo, which obviously is a, an important holiday. And it could also be a brother-in-law. So something to also consider as well. Now, when I had all my keywords here and I was happy with them, all right, it was now time to start seeing how I can put some of these keywords together uh, and search for it on Redbubble to see what kind of results that I would receive. And then obviously to see whether or not it's worth using as one of my 14 to 17 keywords, okay? Now to do that, I opened up another tab so that obviously would be easy to read. The first six were the keyword phrases that the shop owner had originally placed, okay? And they were kept for the reasons stated earlier in this episode, clearly the first five because they are under 1,000 results. And then obviously the sixth one, funny big bro, I kept it because you are ranking for the keyword phrase. So, you know, if you're being seen up over there, you don't want to delete it as one of your keywords. Okay, now what I then did was I started putting together a few keyword phrases, all right? I used Mexican sombrero family, all right? And this brought back a result of 831 designs, again, at the time of publishing, okay? Amazing big brother, 484. Mexican corn tortilla, 350. Mexican sombrero brother, 270. Festive sombrero Cinco de Mayo, 197. Cinco de Mayo tortilla chips, 196. Tortilla chips sombrero, 115. Mexican festive culture, 112, okay? So these ones were highlighted in purple because there was already some interest in terms of these keywords already um, with respect to uploaded designs on Redbubble. So people were already starting to put designs up for these keywords. They're still relatively low, low enough that this design could potentially rank quite high on Redbubble when this designer obviously uses these keywords to modify this particular design's uh, listing, okay? Then the last three um, brought back results under 100. And again, I kept them simply because there was a little bit of emerging interest in them. It's good to rank higher at the get-go, all right? And there was a good potential for other people to start using these particular keyword phrases for their own designs and in getting into the listings for this particular keywords early is going to effectively mean that this design is always going to rank quite high in Redbubble search. So it's worth investing this design on these three particular keyword phrases, which include Fun Texas Nacho, Mexican Family Respect, Cinco de Mayo Festive Family, 
Okay, so these are all things pertaining to the quote and to the holiday and to the clip art that was used. And when we put them together, we got 17 really effective keyword phrases that have already provided us with some really emerging, interesting results that again, will effectively help this design to rank higher in Redbubble search. Now, with respect to the title, all right, um, I would not change it. All right, I would keep the original title as you were ranking high for this title keyword phrase. So when I actually typed that in, your design showed up high. So I wouldn't really, really touch it. I would keep it as is, but I would definitely modify this description. Remember, Redbubble allows you up to 256 characters in your description. And it's in your best interest to use as many of those characters to provide keywords for the description, not only for Redbubble, but for even Google, so that when this page is indexed on Google, Google will have a lot of keywords that it can use to effectively show your design to people who are searching for this particular theme or this particular niche. So you're helping Google by providing keywords so that it will know to whom to show this design to should they be trying to search for this particular t-shirt design via Google. And the new description I'm suggesting is as follows. Nacho Average Big Bro, which is obviously the quote from the design, okay? Here's a great gift idea for an amazing big brother with this festive Mexican sombrero and corn nacho tortilla design. Show respect, love, and admiration for a special big brother. Great for Cinco de Mayo, birthdays, and Christmas. And when I added up all of the characters, I came up with 243 characters so that when this phrase, or rather when this description is gonna show up in the description area on Redbubble, the entire description is going to be visible. It's not gonna get cut off, like with unfortunately some designs where the characters are more than 256 in size. So there you have it everybody. I hope you found this episode to be informative and valuable in terms of helping you to be able to better understand how to go about creating long-term keyword phrases to help you with your designs so that they will reach up higher in Redbubble search and hopefully be seen by more people which eventually could potentially mean making more sales. Obviously, as a disclaimer, it's not just about the keyword phrases that's, that's important, it's also about the quality of the design. So while this exercise can help your design reach up higher in search, if the design is in top notch compared to all of the other designs that are on the page next to it, then the likelihood of people clicking on it and buying it might not be as high. So it's a whole entire package. You gotta make sure that your design looks the best it can possibly can, and you gotta come up with those relevant long-term keyword phrases to get your design up higher in search so that people will want to click on it and make the purchase. Again, as I stated earlier, if you're new to this channel, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Come and join our community. We'd love to have you. Let's grow and learn together. But for today, that's all I've got. So, as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.